tvOS 18.2 is officially out with unique new features and changes for the Apple TV and in this video I'm simply going to be showing you everything that's new. Begin with the screen savers that this update has to offer so if I press back on my Apple TV you can see right here we have Snoopy doing different animations and he is going to be doing random stuff from time to time and you can see the Beagle is going to show up from time to time and if I swipe up right here it doesn't stop whatever animation he's doing if you give it some time it's gonna switch between an animation that has snoopy and the beagle trying to be the forefront of the screensaver that you are trying to select and you can see they are going to be playing around together and once the screensaver has disappeared you can see this is what you are going to see when you are selecting it from your screensaver selection there's many different animations from my test so far I've been able to see about 12 different animations that he does and then when Snoopy is not active or when you don't use your Apple TV after a long period of time Snoopy will go to sleep and you can see how the different animations are going to transitions from one to another this was actually announced this year in June at WWDC 2024 but we are just getting it now and it was one of the most requested feature that tvOS 18 had to offer and we are just getting it now with tvOS 18.2 just to show you some of the other settings that you have right there you can go into the settings on the Apple TV and then when you go to where it says screen saver there is no snoopy uh, screen saver subsection itself you have to go under where it says current selection and that's where snoopy is going to be so here you have areas you have memories you have portraits and snoopy is the one that i have as my current selection right there and it says watch snoopy and woodstock in this playful screen saver so it tells you that hey they are going to be playful doing different cool things and animations and this has quickly become one of my new screensaver selections for the Apple TV. Another new feature that this update introduces when it comes to tvOS 18 has to do with video and audio enhancements. Now if you go into the settings you can see Apple has added a new aspect ratio manual selection tab that you can select and when you are there automatically is going to be the top by default and it's going to quickly adjust your display according to the projector or the external monitor or TV or Apple TV device is connected to. So 16 by 9 that's how it's looked and it's by default when you select it. If my Apple TV detects that that's the automatic aspect ratio it's going to put it as automatic even though I manually select it but like Apple mentioned you can see they have added 21 by 9 wide aspect ratio as advertised for tvOS 18 at WWDC and if I select 21 by 9 you can see how it looks for me because this is not a compatible display that I'm outputting to and if I go back you can see they didn't just add 21 by 9 aspect ratio they actually added a couple more they've added 2.37 by 1 if I select it right here this is how it looks if I go there again you can see 2.39 by 1 if I select it this is how that looks and now they've also added 2.40 by 1 and if I select that one you can see how that looks of course because this is not a compatible device they've also added DCI 4k if I select it looks better but it doesn't really optimize fully for the display that I have right there and if I go again into the aspect ratio the last one is this one pretty tall 32 by 9 and you can see how it looks it almost looks like a phone in portrait mode but in most cases when you go into the aspect ratio section automatic is going to be the best way to optimize your display and for me that's the one that I'm going to be using right now. Also, when it comes to tvOS 18.2, I'll be happy to let you know that if you are using a Mac and you want to airplay to a compatible Apple TV, there is new airplay option for sharing a more limited amount of information on the screen while airplaying to an Apple TV. You can choose your entire screen or a specific window or app, or you can use to extend 
your Apple TV as an extended display. Limiting AirPlay to a specific app allows a presentation of photos to be shared on the larger screen of an Apple TV, allowing viewers to see the contents being shared. The older versions of Mac OS allowed for mirroring a Mac's display to an Apple TV, but there was no option for sharing a portion of a display and it's good to see that this has been added which will add to privacy of course when it comes to this update i'll be happy to let you know that siri is being updated in the background it doesn't have the apple intelligence animation that the mac or the iphone has i asked siri on the apple tv if he knows but he says interesting question he doesn't really know but it will be cool to have it on the apple tv animate it doesn't have to protrude or be that intrusive on the apple tv but I'll, or when it comes to siri i'll be happy to let you know that siri now has more on device prompts that you can be able to do without siri having to be internet dependent which is something that's good when it comes to the actual apple tv application itself i'll be happy to let you know that apple is continuously updating it now the apple tv app has a new splash screen when you open it up for the first time on the mac and on the apple tv and it now has updated this app by adding language support making it more natural so you can now be able to search for different shows or movies or series by just holding the siri button and saying show me action movies for the 2000s it's showing me this now most of these were actually existing with the previous version of uh, tvos 18 but it's good to see that apple is just updating this to be more natural and support natural language so i can again hold search and say show me action movies by tom cruise and you can see what it's showing me it's pretty much the same options as the previous options i used to get before i even updated to this but according to apple they've added more of a natural language support so if you want movies that pertain or encourage a specific mood you can say that and if it's a certain genre or certain artist you can do that and make a request in the apple tv app within the apple music application itself as well they've added that natural language search and and you can now search by genre, moods, artist, and decades as well, which will help you be able to find the tune and the playlist or the artist that you are looking for in a more natural way. And it doesn't end there as well as they've also updated the podcast application across multiple platforms, including TVOS. So now when you open up the podcast, you see a new pop-up screen that says, uh, welcome to podcast. And you can browse different categories, which they've added. And you can see here, choose, you can choose news, comedy, science, and culture. And if I click there, you can see what it brings as a drop down section. You can choose all categories, sports, business, true crime, education, art, science, religion. And if I go all the way down, this is probably the section I will be going to or listening to the most if I was to use this on my Apple TV. And or if you go down, you can be able to see the different options. It's interesting to mention that on the Mac app, you can select multiple categories at the same time. And the recommendations and search that you see will be dependent on those selections that you would have selected. But on the Apple TV, it seems like you have to select one category and then it will influence your search results and what you are being promoted and the more you listen to certain categories the more it's going to give you more recommendations of that category and it's more improved when it comes to personalized search as well a supporting natural language search in the apple tv app i'll be happy to let you know that this update also improves the dialogue so if you are having an issue when it comes to dialogue especially when watching a series on the apple tv app apple has made improvements to that and at the same time they've also made improvements when it comes to the subtitles so if you were pressing back and subtitles were not showing up that issue has been fixed and you can go in here and choose dialogue which 
will now work according to the selection that we would have made sometimes it was a hit and miss but it seems like apple has made this work as intended this update also supports the new airpods pro 2 gesture support which is an update that you get once you update your airpods as well i've made a video here on how you can update your airpods and now if you are consuming content on the apple tv and you get a notification and someone is trying to call you you don't have to reach for your apple tv remote to decline or accept the call you can simply just shake your head side to side for no or up and down for yes and the device will be able to take that gesture that you are doing and be able to make out what you want to do whether you are accepting or declining the incoming call or notification along the lines of fitness if you are very active with your apple tv and you are always working out i'll be happy to let you know that they have added more awards that you can be able to claim on the apple fitness app alongside the latest ios 18.2 update and there's new awards that you can claim such as all rings close workouts among other new rings that have been added to try and motivate you to stay active if you have the new apple vision pro i'll be happy to let you know that vision os 2.2 finally brings the ultra wide and wide mac virtual display audio now plays on the vision pro specially instead of the mac the curve of the display also changes with scale appears much sharper unlike before now we have audio pass through on the mac we have audio pass through on the apple vision pro device itself but when it comes to the actual apple tv box itself there is no high bitrate audio pass through over hdmi which has been re requested if you're watching and you're from apple please look into this as it will be nice to have and speaking of audio this update actually fixes issues that pertained to the 5.1 audio output issues that a number of users had reported and were experiencing so after you update you really shouldn't be having any audio issues and at the same time if you're having issues with your netflix blacking out i'll be happy to let you know that at least after i updated those are not issues that i've been having if you are curious about devices that are supported on tvOS 18.2 this update you can see that it's exactly the same as those on tvOS 18 so Apple TV HD 2015 and newer Apple TV 4k Apple TV 4k second gen and Apple TV 4k third gen in 2022 that's when it was released and keep in mind that there's also going to be security releases and patches that are going to deal with common vulnerabilities and exposures for this update and sometimes Apple does update this. You can see the last one for tvOS 18.1. But since this update just came out, keep an eye out for this and you'll be able to know what are the security patches and the common vulnerabilities that Apple is trying to patch. And you'll be able to read more information about the impacts of those exposures and how often and how many they are so yes this is a publicly available page you can access it by just searching apple security releases most of the features that we were promised for tvOS 18 have actually been brought over we are still waiting for the robot vacuum support and the new apple tv original screen savers based on apple tv original shows seem to have been removed from the code of tvOS 18.2 they were there before but apple has removed those so maybe we might not be able to see those or get those even with tvOS 18.2 but stay tuned for that if it does change i'll definitely let you know and if you like this video definitely hit like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video